Yes, yes. What up, YouTube? As promised, I am back with my polo bear sweater collection. Um, I pulled out um, some other pieces too, just to add to the to the theme. Um, I'm not sure if I have all the bears. I have all my bear sweaters here, but I might be missing some other stuff. Like I know I got a bear hoodie. I know I got a polo bear uh, uh, golf shirt. I know I got a polo bear t-shirt. There's a couple other pieces I don't have in this collection, but for the most part, I got some of my nicer um, bear pieces. Um, if I was in a polo collection, if I was in a polo competition, I wouldn't bring my bears out because there's cats that have been collecting bears from the early 90s and when I first started collecting polos in the early 90s the bear wasn't really something I was into it wasn't until they brought the bear back where I was like okay I gotta add these to the collection so yeah all my bears are pretty recent all starting from um, the the bring it back bear that was the first bear they brought back I think it was like 2012 Sometime around there, they had us vote on different um, classic polo pieces, and the polo bear sweater was one of them, and obviously people voted on that, so they brought back the bear sweater, but the sweater they showed in the um, picture for the voting was different from the bear that they actually brought out, but either way, it's all good. Here we go with my bear, polo bear sweater collection. We'll start off with the RLX bear. I love this bear because it's, um, RLX is a newer brand. When the polo bear first came out, RLX was not around. So it's dope to have a polo bear that's more modern. You got the RLX bubble. You see the straw strings on the hoodie and there's the crease from the, the bubble jacket, and you got a nice wool sweater underneath here. It's like cashmere this sweater is made out of, and the rest of the sweater is made out of a wool blend. Same with the pants, really, really soft. You got that polo bear with the shades on. Very, very dope. Ski boots, or hiking boots. Very, very dope. You got the blue RL. I gotta hit this with the lint brush. This one has the mock neck with the buttons and some nice nylon on the inside and a zipper with a nice thick collar. This one is a large and let's check out the materials. 95% wool, 2% lamb's wool, 1% wool, 1% camel hair. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this really soft material on the pants and the sweater are the camel hair. All right, that's one bear down. Our relics. I'm not sure of the official names of these bears, so pardon me. All right, next we have a bear that celebrates the um, Lifetime Achievement Award that the Fashion Awards gave Ralph Lauren. This is the outfit that he wore. As you can see, that is a watch from the uh, Ralph Lauren collection. Detail on there is amazing. Part of my sniffles. Summertime allergies kick in every once in a while. This one, another large. You got that red RL. Very dope. He's wearing a tuxedo jacket with the jeans. When you win an award for fashion designer of the year and you pull up in some jeans, that's very dope. Let's check out the materials. This one is 100% wool. And uh, okay, the body is 100% wool. 
and um, we got some 29% cashmere and 29% wool, 17% silk. This is probably the stuff the bear is made out of. Yeah, design. So the bear is made out of some different materials and the regular sweater, the rest of the sweater is made out of the wool. So whenever you see some um, high-end materials on the um, tag of your polo sweater, they are usually used on the actual design of the bear. All right, let's go with another sweater. We have the martini bear with the matching uh, beanie. The detail on the big bear is a little more neater than the detail on the bear on the beanie. But it's still very, very dope. This one just fits. It's almost too big for me. You got the uh, velvet slippers with the RL embroidery. You see a little bit of his socks poking out. No watch on this bear. You got the uh, pocket square. A little rose on his lapel. Bow tie, martini. Held poppy with the two fingers. <laughs> yep, very, very dope. Very classic bear with the hat. I also have um, the martini bear socks. Black. All right. So when I was talking about the bring it back bear, this is what I was talking about. The bear on the, um, the bear we voted for had like a sweater tied around his waist. Yeah, this one's wearing like a, like a smoking jacket with a sweater, a button up underneath, tie, belt, some nice casual kicks. You could even see the laces on there. You got that RL13. Now the polo bears and lots of other polo sweaters that came out back in the day in the early 90s and some in the early thousands, they all would have the year. The RL and they would have the year. Um, for some reason they stopped that with the other bears. They continued it with the bring it back bear but all the other bears don't have it. Um, hopefully, you know, they bring another bear out and put the RL with the year. Cause I feel like when you put the year next to the RL, it's a little bit more collectible. Now I noticed with the blue bear sweaters that I have, they're all a cotton blend. And then the black ones and the other materials, other colors, they all seem to have a wool blend. So this one is the cotton with the linen. Yep. Here's another blue bear sweater. The interesting thing about this one is they brought it out two years in a row. And uh, the second year, which is the year I didn't get it, the actual materials that this sweater was made out of was a little different. See, this sweater is made out of uh, cotton and linen, just like the last sweater I showed you. Sixty-five percent cotton, twenty-nine percent linen, one percent cashmere. So yeah, that cashmere, that one percent cashmere, is probably somewhere on this bear somewhere. And yeah, just like my uh, bring it back bear, cotton and linen. Now, when they retroed it the very next year or restocked it, it was I think a hundred percent cotton. So that was interesting, a little strange. Here you have the bear wearing the tartan jacket with the toggles. It's classic yellow sweater, button up, tie. See a little bit of that belt creeping through. Very, very dope. See them kicks. Got that RL. Now here we have the first time I seen a polo bear sweater that had another, like the reverse design on the back. Very, very dope. This is also the first time I've seen a Fair Isle polo bear sweater. 
these designs you see on the sleeve, shoulders, and close to the waist. That's that fair aisle design. And um, this is a scene from Singing in the Rain. It's an old school movie before all of our times. The character in the movie, I think his name was Gene Kelly. He sang a song called Singing in the Rain. It was a musical. And, um, yeah, he had a classic dance scene in there where he was swinging on the pole, holding the umbrella, wearing the suit, just like the bear is. Um, the materials on this sweater, let's see what they are. 71% wool, 18% lamb's wool. Very, very dope. Now, lamb's wool is almost like cashmere. It's like one step below cashmere. And then you have like merino wool, which is a little nicer than regular wool. And then you got like extra soft merino wool. And um, yeah, there's different kinds of wool. I can't remember them all right now. Boom. There's the back of the bear. Exact reverse image. Very, very cool. I had to get this. Now the sizing on this, that's the extra large. Now with bear sweaters, when you get an extra large, they're not going to be any longer. What extra large does is it gives you a wider sweater. And it might even be a little shorter. Uh, the sleeves, you're gonna have wider sleeves, but they're not gonna be too much longer. And so, if you're a big guy and a tall guy, you gotta be careful. And if um yeah and if you're a big guy but you're not that tall then the extra large or double x those will work really well for you but once again if you're a big guy and you're tall the sweaters might be a little short for whatever reason when they go to xl and double xl the length does not increase sometimes it even gets shorter <laughs> Still got the tag on this one. The iconic bear ISO sweater. Instead of fair ISO, bear ISO. Yeah. And so now this is the seventh bear sweater I'm showing you. That means I have a bear sweater for every day of the week. I feel like you can't really brag about a certain kind of polo piece you have unless you can wear that piece type of piece every day of the week and this is my only bear sweater that is not knitted this is a um, you know regular crew neck material what's really dope about this sweater is the same material on the outside is the same material on the inside you don't have that fluff so you can wear nice stuff underneath it without getting that fluff all over it I check out the detail on this bear another bear wearing a ski wearing a, the, the glasses the shades I think this is the actual polo sweater with this exact same design polo ski very very dope you got that shadow work on there and everything amazing sweater all black nothing else this one is 100% cotton, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 69% cotton. And 18% Modal, 9% polyester. I'm guessing Modal is similar to polyester. Kind of like a synthetic material that keeps the color nice and rich. Keeps it from getting faded. Because, you know, cotton will get faded after a while. All right, that's my seven bear sweaters for every day of the week. I have my polo bear boots, but a butter soft suede. The lining on the inside of this Ranger boot is a little nicer than you usually get. Really butter soft leather, as you can see. The cushioning on here is a little nicer than you get on a normal Ranger boot also. There's that insole. Nice smooth leather insole. Very, very comfortable. Uh, Polo Bear. 
belt. I also have a maroon burgundy pair of socks with the exact same bear. Got your little horse on the end over there. Nothing on the reverse. Got that twill, tweed type material. Here we have a polo bear, Alaska. Um, I forget what they call these jackets, but this is a nice satin uh, souvenir jacket. That's what they call these souvenir jackets. Very soft collar, same as the cuffs. You got that piping going down the sleeves. That nice cream. Bear biting a lightning bolt, goggles on top. Got that scarf wrapped around his neck. Very, very dope. You got that map of Alaska with the plane propellers. Ralph Lauren stitched in there. Some nice cream trim on the pockets. On the inside, you got that great quilted lining. That red quilted lining. Almost makes you want to flip it inside out. And on the back, we got another bear, an explorer looking bear. Same outfit as he wearing on the front. There's no lightning bolt. Very, very dope. It looks real warm and cozy. You got that map of Alaska with different spots. <laughs> very, very dope. We have some polo beanies. I don't have any sweaters or t-shirts with this particular bear. Hopefully I can get my hands on some bear pieces to match this bear right here. I got the black and the blue. Uh, we have the polo bear. I guess, I'm not sure what you would call this, but you know, nice collector's piece. Very, very dope. This would be the um, this would be the tuxedo bear. So the martini bear is wearing a tuxedo, but it's a black tuxedo when he's holding the martini. So that's the martini bear. Here he's wearing a tuxedo, and it's the tuxedo bear, as you can see. Very, very dope. This cost me about forty-five bucks Canadian. Little display piece for on top of my uh, dresser in my room. And I think that is it. Any more requests, I will be glad to fulfill them. I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.